Thank you. So um, I'm going to cover uh, processing and publishing maritime data with GeoServer with Databricks in Azure. Skipping over the company because we only have four minutes. Big data and maritime security. So what's the use case? We have a, a large database of uh, information about the sea, in particular moving points, the ship positions, constantly delivering uh, AIS, uh, through the AIS sensors, the, the, their position, but also all the maritime assets, port and navigational aid systems and so on. So we have a bunch of static or semi-static objects and a lot of moving points. Uh, the use case in numbers, in 24 hours we receive 50 million positions reports out of up to 500,000 different ships um, with uh, a peak of 250,000 messages per second. And we keep seven years of data online. That's 125 billion positions. So is that big data? Well, I say that with the previous slide, I should have convinced you that we have both the velocity in terms of incoming data and the volume in terms of uh, uh, data storage. Do I have the variety as well? Well, yeah, because uh, in, in order to provide uh, informed decision-making support, we have to provide uh, uh, a variety of context information. So we don't just have the moving points and so on, but we also have a bunch of contextual information that needs to be displayed at the same time. And we need to do so interoperating with other data sets as well. In addition to that, we have a complex uh, authorization right matrix so that uh, certain en entities and certain users can only see a specific subset of the data, a specific port, a specific part of the sea from a specific nation, blah, blah, blah. So forget about caching. It's just impossible. Now, a couple of use cases, one that deals with velocity and one that deals with volume. Visualize in real time the ship positions. We display the latest position like every two seconds on, on the client, of all the ships, all together. Um, all the ship positions come in, they are validated, enriched, and uh, processed in general, and then added into, uh, into a database that GeoServer uses. This is a picture of all the ships in the Medi Mediterranean Sea. In this case, we are coloring each vessel according to its type, but we can do it according to maybe it's a fishing gear, if it's a fishing boat. Um, and here is another example where we are supporting an aircraft search and rescue operation, so a different use case with the same data. And uh, in this case, a display of uh, the real-time aids, aids navigation system positions. Um, another example of all the ships, you can see also North America here, uh, so that's why we reach 500,000 ships in a polar projection. So we don't only support a web mercator, but a bunch of uh, useful projections for the output. Uh, there is advanced styling, the client is really rich, the, the user uh, in the control room can choose particular types of ships and uh, have them highlighted and have them move around uh, the map every two seconds with a the, with the continuous update. So as you can see, we have to process and render very quickly a lot of data. How does it work? Uh, well, we have a Kafka cluster with a set of uh, queues that receive the data. We have an ingestion cluster that is uh, processing the data, validating it, enriching it, adding extra data depending on your, their position and so on, and eventually writing everything to a PostgreSQL uh, database. And then there is a GeoServer cluster that pulls out of the PostgreSQL database all this fresh information and render it on a map, depending on the current user, the current filter, the current highlights, and so on and so on. So everything is done on the fly because here things are moving fast. Okay, um, another use case, historical positions. So in this case, we have all the positions for the past seven years, uh, and what can you do with it? So for example, ship correlation. Have two ships met at sea to do something maybe illegal, uh, uh, or uh, you know, washing the tanks of a petroleum vessel or something like that. Uh, we have uh, the ability to choose and export from a an Azure data lake, the positions of the ships, correlate them through an algorithm and figure out whether they had an occasion to met at sea or not. In this case, we have an Azure data lake and an Apache Spark process that does the extraction. This extraction can be slow, can be 30, 20, 30 seconds. And, and then we have a cache in PostgreSQL to do interactive mapping out of it. And that's it.
Um, okay, awesome. So that's a free marine traffic. But it's a private solution or it's a public uh, uh, service? European maritime security, yes. Okay, okay, thank you.